Hey there, Andrew here. Welcome to Research and Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Wise Cam. But don't worry, we're not going to get caught in the weeds and a lot of technical stuff. We're going to take a look at what's in the box and then I'm going to give you my brass tacks bottom line impressions of this product. All right, we're going to open up the box. First thing I notice is that this box is pretty heavy, a lot heavier than I was expecting. And Security tape. There we go. iPod mount on it. That's a nice little extra. All right, here is the camera in all of its glory. What else do we have in here? We have a USB cable. Oh, okay. Plug. Uh, oh, yes, and instructions. All right. Set up as a snap. Step one, install the Wise app on your phone. First time around, you're also going to have to enter in your Wi-Fi name and password. Step two, turn on the camera. Step three, after the initial boot up, press the setup button. Step four, a QR code will pop up on the screen of your phone. Put that in front of the camera, and after a few seconds, boom, you're set up. Now straight away, you're going to have to update the firmware. That's not a problem, just hit the update button. Now in my case, I had to try that update process twice. First time was a failure, but second time around, I forced stopped the app and I rebooted the phone. And then the update process went without a hitch. You have the option of setting these cameras up to motion and or sound detection, and they'll push a 12 second video clip to your phone in the event of uh, any triggering. Every five minutes or so after that, it will send you another 12 second clip, provided there's still motion or sound in the field of view of the camera. I've heard some complaints that people don't like that 12 second limit and then a five minute gap in between, but I don't see that as a problem and this is why. Once you receive that alert, you can go to the live view of your camera and you can instruct it to start recording to the optional SD card. Here's a shot of my kitchen just to give you an idea of what the video looks like. So bottom line, what do I think of the Wise camera? Well, I bought my first one, tested it for a month, and then I bought two more. I think that says it all, and I give them a double thumbs up. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining. I'll see you on my next review.